What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Let's Spoil Chicken here, playing some more War Thunder. This is a game, free to play, piloting game on Steam. It's absolutely amazing. This will be the ninth episode that I've done on my channel. If you want to watch all of the rest of them, you can click on my channel name in the description or subscribe for all of the other ones that will be coming out. I'll be playing this for a while. Recently, they've announced some updates where they are adding in stuff. Obviously, army and fleet isn't available yet. If you watch the other episodes, when I shoot with the tanks and the boats, it's coming to the point where eventually you'll be able to play as the tanks and as the boats. Last time as well, I'd been playing like through each episode as one of the different air forces, and I played a bit of Soviet, but I didn't quite level up to level one, and so I did level up. I did I did a game off camera. I leveled up and I purchased this plane here which is that I had all of these that one there I had already unlocked I unlocked that one and that one but that's obviously a premium one which is dirty you don't, don't want to be touching the, the dirty premium ones pay to win planes Ugh, disgraceful so yeah I bought that and I put it into action I was gonna do a test flight but I thought we'd keep in the theme of things because we only have one more air, air Force, I don't know, I think I was going to say air service, lost my train thought. We've done USA, we've done Germany, we've done uh, Soviet, I, keep calling it, Ru I don't know why it's called Soviet Air Forces because it was pretty much just Russia. And a lot is Britain. And so today we are going to do the Japanese. And I must admit these seem pretty cool. You unlock a lot, you have a lot more planes it looks like to start off with. These are all reserves but you know, let's... I think they're just different skins, but you know, at least you have them, that's the main thing. This one here, apparently, I can have. I don't know why I don't. I order that. Recruit that crew. Boom. If you only ever buy one crew, it's 50 grand for the next crew, and I don't play as the other countries enough. What I'll probably do is I'll finish this episode here playing as Japan, and then I'll go back to Britain, my main one, because obviously I'm British. And I will do historical battles or full rule battles. Teams with a difference very much of the length of the missions and the flight dynamics. And there are no markers in that. Okay, so full rule battles sound pretty hard. And historical battles are just sort of um, take place where rule battles will return. Our military conflicts occur in the middle of the 20th century. Presidents divided into teams by countries. So in the conflict can choose aircraft or the country who said they are to join the battle in this mode. Aircraft behave realistically for the uh, didn't get a chance. So yeah, that's what that is. I'll be doing the next episode, so tune in next week. Or tomorrow, probably. If there's not a TF2 video in the middle. You can read more about it. So aircraft can fly with critical damage even without half a wing. Interestingly enough, in the one off camera, I flew really low to the ground doing like a bombing sweep, well not a bombing sweep, like a gunning sweep to take out some armoured cars and a tree took out my propeller and that mean I couldn't accelerate and with 0% throttle I managed to stay in the air for another 30 seconds and take out another two ground units just gliding it was quite good actually, I sort of wish I recorded it I wonder if there's like a theatre mode on this so I can go back and look oh, this is like a nice plane, what's it like to manoeuvre? Oh, painfully slow actually. And it's not too quick on your flying either. And it as well has one of these really weird aiming reticles which is like off to one side. Which I don't really like. I also found out like Q and E. Don't know why, when you let go it spazzes out a bit, but they're like rudder. Just to turn left and right, and when you let go, they really spaz out. Don't look quite like how you're supposed to hold it. But anyway, let's do this. So, normally I always say slow down before you get to them so you have more chance to shoot at them. Uh, this plane's pretty slow, so. Uh, lock on, light pill box. Oh, yeah, okay, we can take out a triple A. Let's go, realism. Sounds good. Let's see the AA bullets. No, we are having it. Come on, come on. F 
brick here. Oh. Okay, I say my full afterburn just finished. Avoid the mountain. Very close there. Alright. We have machine gun. We have bearing. Let's go kick some ass. Flying in quite low. It does show when you're going cockpit mode how scary it must be to be a pilot. I can't be it anyway because I've got some like depth perception thing, but damn. Sort of feel like that was a godsend. I'm not sure I wanted to be a pilot. Well, maybe I would have been. It's one of them kids like you, things you grow up being a kid, like, oh, I wish I was a pilot. Think back at it now, I think I'd be too scared to pull the joystick half time, and I just realised I've lost most of my wing. Am I high or have I actually lost most of my wing? Oh, I don't know why. When I looked at it out of the cockpit view, it looked like I'd lost some of it. Oh, it always looks like that, okay. It looks there like, I don't know, it like had a bit chopped off. I think that was just a flap that was um, deployed. God, I really should hit it a bit more than that, shouldn't I? There we go. I think maybe it just takes the hits a little bit to register. But yeah, tank update, that'll be good. They're recording like the sound effects and getting the artists in to do some stuff. And I touched down there. That's one thing you don't get when you look at it in third person, you see that you touched down, but it, you would probably feel it if it was real life, but I didn't even know I'd... Ooh, woof, 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 woof. That feeling on a roller coaster when you need to lift your head and you can't. It's that sort of feeling, like the react. If I turn up that, it seems like. In real life, the plane would probably be ahead of me because, like, G Force would keep your head down. If you've ever been on a roller coaster and, like, had your arms by your side at the beginning and tried lifting your arms mid, -ro mid ride, it's really hard. Depending on what roller coaster. I'm not talking about, like, you know, flying fish. I'm talking about, like, proper worry flying about ones. Like um Smiler and Colossus and Swarm and all of the good all of the good ones. Over here at least. But I would like to go to Florida. Her hey, that's quite famous for theme parks. I'm a theme park guy. I do like my do like my roller coasters. I'm not quite an ad adrenaline junkie, I just like I just like roller coasters. Never jump out of a plane. It, that seems to be one of the most commonly asked questions when people find out I like roller coasters. They're like, would you jump out of a plane? I'm like, no, they're slightly different, I think. Oh, oh, that could have caused problems. I could literally just drive along the road. And I am, actually. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought I wasn't. Was that? Can we bring it around? Let's see if we could just drive along the road behind them. Oh my god, look at all the bullets just raining down there. Piss it off. Try to kill some stuff here. Touchdown. Break, break, break. They're coming for you, mate. Oh, I can't aim down because like, my, I can't turn the nose down. Oh, bug, that was a really dumb idea. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's raining confetti. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to try that again. <laughs> so he's an enemy team. He's in the enemy team. It looks like he was in a Japanese plane as well. So I think in arcade, it doesn't matter what country you're in. I'd also like to know if there is like an ML, not like an MLG, but you know, like a professional circuit for this. Is there a country, because obviously all countries have different planes, is there a country which is better? And if so, we, what is it? The only reason I think at the moment Britain's better is partly because of patriotism and partly because I've unlocked more stuff as them. I don't actually think playing as all the other countries sort of realise, I don't really think Britain's got anything tactically or like advantage over them. Except I can pronounce some of the names and like I recognise it, like the Spitfire and the Hurricane and the Buford and 
Now you crawl up here about that sort of stuff. But like the IBL-15 Soviet light bomber, I... no. Just doesn't ring a bell. Uh, I think there might actually be in a plane name, to be honest. I think I remember reading that somewhere, so... If there actually was one, that proves maybe I do know some Soviet aeroplanes. And I just proved myself wrong, but you know. Until such a time as you can prove it. Just die! He didn't die. He didn't seem to like that idea of just dying. It's just got a really slow cruising speed. Come on, come on. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, come on. Come on. Don't think I got him in time. Oh, oh bugger! Look at the amount of damage on the left, look at that. I didn't have a rotor, I didn't have a wing. I think black means completely obliterated and red means on the fire, sort of thing. So the weapons of outload, standard. Um. So yeah. Oh, I think that might actually be a bomb. It's one of the hydroplanes, I really don't know what that is. I think that means they can float. It's got that float, that, do you know you see them planes that take off from water? I think it's one of them. Oh, if I clicked about. Oh, silly me. Oh, this plane looks cool. I think it's the same one, but you know. That's cool either way. Oh, 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 oh. It's really hard to keep, like, flying upside down in this. The only thing I want to do is do, like, half of a front flip and roll out of it. Oh. That's how you turn around in style. You do half a barrel roll, no, like half of half of a flip, like a loop, and then you barrel roll out of it. GTA flight school training, rather. That is what trains me to be a pilot. Oh, look at him, blimey. There's no way he's got control of that. Oh god, he has as well. I think he just free I think I stole it. It looked like he was like flailing through the air. Or maybe he's just as good as me, that's why it looked that good. Either way, they're winning, so we need to pick this up a bit. We need to turn up the pace. Right, we are going to now try to drive along the road again, because I feel like we didn't give that enough justice. We really should have slowed down earlier. Yeah, man. We. Come on, that was hitting him. Oh, blimey. I lost myself there for a minute. I was in the zone. Feathering the achy. Bringing herself around. Ooh. Don't have bullets. Don't have bullets. I have bullets. Taste. Oh. <laughs> that spun me around rather quickly. Is my pilot alive? It looks like he's alive. Stop landing. Land a critically damaged aircraft on airfield. I don't think that's quite what happened. Soft landing. S soft landing. What are you smoking, mate? Jesus, you see my plane? The only soft thing about that was the inside of my brain like splattered over the windscreen. Oh, Jesus. This is a plane, right? This right here is a plane. And it has a bomb. Oh my god, this plane is brilliant. It looks like it has a back gunner to me. That's fine. It looks like it has a... 
just me who thinks that? Or is that the... Definitely looks like it has a back gunner to me. Or is it just like a co-pilot? I think that's the bomber. And I only have one bomb, I think. Let's see if we can get a record to come up. Oh no, we do have a bad guy, I think. Okay, no, no, we don't have a bomb. Oh, well, yeah, I just press control, which is normally missiles, and space, which is bombs. And nothing happened. Anything could happen. But it didn't. That's the problem. Hydroplane. I don't know why, I just got the idea then to try and do that to the Adventure Time theme tune. Then I realised I've literally seen Adventure Time, like, once, a family barbecue or my younger cousins are watching it. And I don't actually know what it is. I just, I just, all I know is it's like, Adventure Time, go grab your friend, it's travel to a very distant land. And I was expecting that to rhyme, and so when I heard that, I thought they were actually taking the piss. But apparently that is actually their legit theme tune, which, can I just say, it's absolutely awful, it doesn't even rhyme. What were you thinking? Yes. Check out the A A A A A A A A A A. A. It should just be A A. I think it's just, it should just be A A gun. It's supposed to be like anti-aircraft artillery. I think is what they meant. Is that what it meant? Let's just do something very very stupid and see what happens if our wheels touch down on this. If it even has wheels, do we even have wheels? Apparently we have no gear control, so no. Oh well. Come on. Oh my god, the angle's not right on that. Jeez. Out of ammo? Out of bleeding ammo? What? Why not? What are you doing? It just said in the bottom of the right, out of ammo. Whoa, what happened? Oh, someone shot us out! Oh my god, I didn't realise on the left everything's black. Jeez, we all got destroyed. No, um, um, I'm out of planes. I am out of planes, my friend. Um, got cooler there, I guess. Oh, oh, no, mind. We died anyway. Now I feel responsible for that. Oh. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? Not gonna get as much XP. Got to do another game. It's gonna take twice as long to render. Oh, what the hell was that? New decal. Father's gonna teach her about I don't quite know what that means. Right, well, yeah, that XP right there. I'll do another game, but if that doesn't level me up, then. God help us. Jesus. They really could do another plane, couldn't they? My God. My days, we are doing bad, my friends. Apparently Japan is the least played air force by the look of it. Oh, no, Britain's got the longest waiting time now. And Germany. Does that mean there's more people playing them? Yeah, I think it does. See, now when I think of World War II, this, this is probably just like, sort of like, not brainwashing, but every country is going to tell their children, like, the events differently, aren't they? And we, over in Britain, get taught about the Battle of Britain, this massive aircraft fight over the like London and the Blitz and the RAF fighting about the Luftwaffe and that is sort of the idea pretty much I've got about planes in World War Two. And this is nothing like it because one they're all biplanes pretty much. And as well as that, like it seems that the other air forces played a, a much bigger role than I actually knew about. Like I, I knew the um, Japanese ones got involved in Pearl Harbor, 
and I guess the Americans must have had some plane to drop the nuke on like Hiroshima and Nagasaki but sort of out of sight out of mind like like I said we you sort of get taught what your country sort of education wants you to teach and I guess I've always wondered what they teach them in Germany I mean, like technically we didn't actually have a war against Germany we had a war against the Nazis but that's got to be sort of a sore spot in their history like, what do they teach their children about World War II because they can't just ignore it it was like a massive part of like 21st century culture so what do they say If any Germans are watching this, no offence, but please le let me know, because... I mean, we've had a couple of German kids at my school, and they get really... I'm not going to say bullied, like, it's not... They don't, like, a couple of them have been really alright, but... People really do seem to pick up on the fact, like, hey, you're a Nazi, and you're like, no, they're, they're German, there's, there's a difference. That really, that really pees me off, this stuff like that. The stereotypes for a country. It could take a long time before they grow out of that stereotype. It's been what, like 70 years old now? And the thing is, where because it we it was not quite a proud moment in our history. I guess, maybe it was, to be honest. Winning against undefeatable odds, but or whatever. But you know, we that's how we, that's how we hear it. We don't hear it as like a really brutal and bloody war with loads of innocent. Germans didn't have any other choice were like sort of set up to do it. That's not how it's told. Which is sort of wrong, you know? You ever wonder like going to another country, like all of the events were taught that happened probably sound really different from like another point of view because there's two sides to every story. To be honest, I, I actually think that would probably be the most educational thing ever would to be to learn about your own education because honestly I'm pretty sure hers is fairly biased the way we hear it but on the subject of planes I've just crashed quite horrifically and my gunner there is taking it like a champ look at him looking left and right yep we mirrors are clear we are good Look at him, look at him, he's just sitting there, getting a bit warm in here, isn't it? That guy. See, now I need to play as all of the air, air forces so I get to the point where I'm out of biplanes. Because the second your planes have mono, the monoplanes, or just normal planes, because they're not, they don't have like the two wing thing, they're a lot, I find they're a lot easier to use. They're a lot more, man maybe not more manoeuvrable, they just feel, because they're obviously more modern. They're a lot better. Things like the Spitfire and the Hurricane and the Tornado and stuff. I think the Tornado's a bit more modern, but... You can't play like an F-22 Raptor in this, can you? Ah, oh dear, I miss Hawks. I might actually start recording Hawks. To be honest, I've got that game. It's like, yeah, I like playing games. Here's a playing game for you. No promises, I'll look into it. I've got it on disc, not on Steam, so I have to install it again and... That crud. In fun fact for you, I actually bought TF2 before it was free to play, and I bought it on disc for the PC. I have a PC, I have a, like a PC ROM? I don't know what it's called, but it's something ROM, I think it's a PC ROM. I don't know. That's gonna bug me now, what is it called? DVD ROM or whatever. But I've got a disc version of Team Fortress 2. I used to have as well floppy discs of all of the Simon the, Sor Simon the Sorcerer games. Yeah, Simon Sorcerer and Monkey Island. They might be on disc. I'm not sure if they were on floppy disc or a normal disc. We need to get low. We need to, we need to get to the point where we can see them clearly. The only thing I'm out of bullet tracks, I'm pulling the trigger and I can't hear anything because I can't hear anything because the back gun is blocking out all the noise. That little git doing a little celebratory backflip. Cock little bugger. Jeez, mate, if I find you in a dark alley, tell you what, I'm going to tell you just what I think about your political correctness. Because taking out a body's aeroplane, I don't even care if you are my enemy, it's not, it's not on, man. 
I'm gonna come find you and your entire family, and I'm gonna bury them underneath my runway. That is how this is gonna go down. What does weapon even? What does wep mean on throttle? The thing is, right, it comes with a little prompt, and I don't like normally in a game like when something happens, it like flashes for you. But on this, like the damage indicator is right off to the left middle, and it's really hard to see. And like when you press G. It says if you look above the scoreboard, 31, 31, down bottom left, it says no gear control whenever I press G. But when I press G, I don't see that because it's really hidden. I only noticed because I was looking at the score once when I press G. So the notifications, little little hint there, guys. Like for the game developers on this. I mean, smashing job you've done, but that would be very well appreciated. The only thing in this, right, is when they, do, when they add in boats, I can't say it being all that interesting. Because the boats you shoot at in this, like other aircraft carriers, like battleships, and the, even the battleships don't seem to be moving much. They seem to just sort of sit there in the ocean and wait for you to come shoot at them so they can shoot back. Like, I'm not sure how interesting that'll be. Tanks, I reckon, will be proper cool. Um, oh Jesus, we are losing fuel, we are losing fuel, we are losing fuel, we have about 12 seconds of fuel left. We don't need fuel, we can still shoot, come on, come on, make it worth something. No, no, I almost had him, I almost had him. Oh, I'm going to be dead proper early on guys, I'm sorry, that team's doing well today. Lost a touch. That's what it is. Motherfuckers! It's not a very nice thing to put in chat. I, 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 I need to think of something very witty to put in chat when I leave. But Jesus. God. This is not going too well today, guys. I'm sorry. I'm letting the side down. Another interesting thing, right? I don't know why this is. Try this out when you play this next. Hold down D, you spin that way right now. If I hold down A, nothing happens, because D is dominant. Now if I hold down A, and hold down D, D does something. So why is D so much more dominant than A? Because like D, if A tries to interrupt a D movement, D's like, nah mate, I got this. And if A's moving, and D's like, John, I want to move, then it just pushes A out of the way. Same with W and A. If you hold down A and then press W, it stops. If you press W and then press A, or S even. If I does so, actually, okay, no, never mind. It's just A and D. What's, what's up with D? D is being, D is bullying my little S. My little S, my little A. My D and my A again are having some troubles. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, I got a bit low there. I was worried. You're dead, and you're about to be. Told you. Could have moved, but you didn't. Do a nice little bow turn. It's probably not the correct, the correct term to use. Ooh, yeah. That's why you be careful about how much you do turn. How high is my gun facing? Oh, it's not that bad, but I can't turn. Soft, soft landing. It's not a soft landing. It really isn't a soft landing. Oh dear, that's that's good. That's good. Let's just follow this guy. Come on, mate. Let's do this. Go on, go on, my son. Go on, my son. Have him out. Go on. That's right. That's right. Get him. Get him. Get oh. Is he on your team or not? I don't know. Um, tactical map. What's the score at? I don't know. Spectator mode. Statistics. 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 
that I wanted. I thought I thought I wanted that one. Um, I don't know what tickets mean. Ground units look like I have to get by far the most ground units, and they are doing better than we are, I think. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna have to leave that there. So yeah, that was me doing that, War Thunder. If you enjoyed, give us a subscribe or a like. Or even better than that, to be honest, at this point, everyone keeps on asking me like how many subscribers you got. That doesn't really that doesn't bother me as much as comments. I wanna comment, so I'll comment on this and it'll make my day. Please like I mean I'm subscribe's nice, but like I don't wanna just say subscribe because I'm not really to be honest, I wouldn't subscribe to me. I don't really think I'm that interested to to watch, but it's, it's appreciated either way. So, and I've just leveled up to level five. That's interesting. But yeah, so don't, I'm not just gonna say subscribe. Subscribe if you want to, not if you don't. Only if you want to, because that's how democracy is. It's a free country. But I'd really like you guys to leave a comment if you could, like. Even if it's literally just like first, I mean, just literally, or just like an advertisement for your own channel or anything, just please leave, leave a comment, it'll make my day. Because I can respond to it and I'll be like, oh, I have a fan base, and it'll really make my day. Please, guys, do it for me. But yeah, this has been me playing War Thunder, the epic free to play game on Steam. I recommend you look into it. It's pretty sick. Can't really think of any game I've played that's much better than this. Piloting game that is. I mean, I can think of a couple of games I've played that better than this, like you know, Infamous, Festival of Blood, um, Trials Evolution. That's pretty good. One's pretty good. Uh, that was a good game. See, now I want to say GTA, but I have quite a few issues with that game, so I'm gonna leave GTA Five out of the equation. It's a good game. Probably not the best I've ever played. Everyone said it's the best game I've ever played. Uh, no, no. Everyone said about Black Ops 2 when that came out, and I ended up trading that in, so you know. I, I bought the season pass, and then. Uh, well, more to point, my brother bought the season pass on his account, and he forgot his Xbox Live password, and the email address he put in to recover the password was spelt wrong, so we couldn't recover it. And so, yeah, I never got to use the season pass again to download Origins. But I got Mobile of Dead and I got Buried. Buried was awful. Die Rise was good. Mobile of Dead was good. The right tangent there, but I don't know, what, don't know how that came out. And yeah, like I said, War Thunder, like, subscribe, please leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Find the stop call. There it is.